Welcome back, scholars. Let's go ahead and review the answers for our do now. The first problem was 12,000 divided by 40. I'm going to go ahead and get to the flex cam. What would we do to make this easier and to solve it quicker? Excellent. I heard it out in class. I heard it on the distance learning. Uh, yes, we can divide the these by 10. When we divide the 10, that will go ahead and give us 4, and that will give us 1,200. So we take 1,200 divided by 4. I have two zeros. Uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3, so the answer would be 300. Let's get back to this. That is correct. The next one, if you cross out, divide by 1,000, that will give us 12 divided by 4, gives us 3. The next one, we can divide by 1,000 again, cross out three zeros. That gives us 360 divided by 6, which will give us 60. And let's look at number 4 together. Let me go ahead and work that out. Let me get to the flex scam. I got 4, 490,000 divided by 700. If I divide each side by 100, I cross out two zeros. That gives me 4,900 divided by 7. So that's two zeros. 7 times 7 equals 49. So the answer will be 700. Let's check it out to make sure I'm correct. I am. So the last one should be pretty easy. If we divide it by 10 on each side, we got 64,000 divided by 8, which will give us 8,000. All right, let's go on to the first problem. You can be using all the skills you have here to answer the next few problems. Oh, let's get our objective first. Let me pause the video here, get a brave scholar to read it. Excellent, 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 yes. Scholar will be able to use basic facts to approximate quotients with two digit divisors. Approximate is a big word, but basically it means to estimate or take the best guess as to the closest answer we can get using two digit divisors. So we're going to be dividing everything with two digits. Let's continue. Let's take those skills we learned from yesterday and put them to good use. So the first problem is 8,095 divided by 23. What is the first thing you will have to do to get this answer? Remember, we're rounding to approximate the quotient. Yes, I heard it in one of the classes, heard it in my class. Yes, we will round the divisor. So if we round the divisor, let's go over to the flex cam right here. We have 8,095 divided by 23. I will underline the two. I look at that number. It's higher or lower than five. Which one is it? What is the divisor we will use? Yes, excellent. It is a 20. So now I'm going to go ahead and look for a dividend or a product of 20 that will give me 8,000. So when I multiply, I'm going to use twos. Two times 1,000 gives me 2,000. 2,000 times 2,000 gives me 4,000. 2,000 times 3,000 gives me 6,000. Times 4,000 gives me 8,000. And times 5 gives me 10,000. So I see that if I go by 5, it's going to be too big. So I can take the next smallest, which is 8,000. That is the closest that we have to that. So I'm going to take 8,000 divided by 20. I can divide it by 10 on each side. That gives me 800 divided by 2, which gives me 400. Let's see how we did. Let's check out our slides. So I got the rounded divisor of 20. 
We next look for a rounded dividend of 8,095, which is it closest to? That can be divided by 20. We came out to 8,000 divided by 20. We are able to divide both sides here by 10. So we can scratch out one zero on each side. That gives us 800 divided by two, which gives us 400. Excellent job. Now it's your turn. Let's go ahead and you guys go to the, ne to the next slide, which is going to be a draw it. You're going to divide 2,691 by 48, but you're rounding or giving me the approximate quotient. You have two minutes. See you in the next slide.